Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am here today to go over a few tips and tricks for flying with your baby. The first thing is to provide unrestricted movement to your baby prior to the flight. This can look different based on their developmental age, but it can be as easy as putting a blanket or towel down and working on playing on their back, playing on their tummy, pushing up onto their arms or starting to work on crawling, or even pulling to stand and practicing a little bit of static standing. Providing unrestricted movement before the flight can help the infant settle and be more comfortable on the flight when there's not as much opportunity for them to move around. The other important thing to note with infants is they experience some of the changes in air pressure that we experience as well, especially during takeoff and landing. For adults, we typically recommend something like chewing gum, but for babies, we can actually work on sucking during those periods of time, and that can help with the equalization of pressure. For young babies, this can be either through breastfeeding, bottle feeding, or sucking on a pacifier. And for older babies, you can also work on them sipping through a straw in a cup. For some infants, they also tolerate well having a little bit of food during that period of time. So for your infant that's starting to self-feed, you could work on self-feeding small pieces of food and chewing on those foods to help with that as well. Finally, I wanna go over some of my favorite small packable toys that can be a great way to entertain your baby when you're on a flight. The first thing I love is a pair of soft blocks. These can work great for stacking and knocking over, for putting on top of different surfaces, or even for clapping together because they don't make too much noise and are pretty light and packable. The next thing I recommend for families are some variety of books. I like to recommend books that have interactive features on a flight. So this one that you pop the pieces as you go, a touch and feel book with different textures. One of my favorite touch and feel books is the silicone ones because they're really easy to wipe off. So that can be a great option for plane rides as well. The next toy are suction toys. And these tend to be a favorite, both um, when families use them here in the clinic or on plane rides but I love suction spinners. You can put them on the windows, on the tray. Um, so my families even put them on their head. Uh, but these can provide a little bit of entertainment for your infant. There are multiple different types. So some that have poppers that they can pop, some that rattle a little bit. And then there are some other suction toys as well. So these can suction and you can hang items off of them or just work on shaking or something like these suction cups, which you can work on stacking as well as putting on different surfaces. And then depending on how much space you have, you can also bring any of your high chair toys that have a suction. So this can be great for infants that are beginning to reach for different objects or to work on visual tracking. And one of my all time favorite toys for infants, because they're super easy to pack and they love them, are some Mardi, Mardi Gras beads. These can be great for them to hold onto, have some in different hands and shake, um, be visually tracking and going back and forth, hanging on different objects. You could have them on one of your suction toys and have your baby playing with them that way. Um, but these are another great item that you can kind of use a lot of different ways for infants. I also love to have a small mirror, um, even if it's just one that's kind of in your toiletry bag that you can kind of pull out, but this is a great way for baby to interact with themselves in the mirror and interact with you. And then finally, I love to have some play scarves on hand. These are super easy to pack because they're super small and light, but you can play games such as peekaboo and have them or yourself under it. You can put them in different things and have infant practice pulling them out, or sometimes infants just love the feel of them and it can be used as a regulation strategy. If you have any questions regarding your infant's development, please reach out and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks so much.